health and care in this country really does put people first. This is all about how we can give people more control, how we can engage people more in their health care, how we can help them live longer, healthier lives. The digital revolution, you know, giving people the kinds of tools they have in other parts of their lives. But it's also about helping the staff of the health service, the managers, the clinicians, understand how they might do things differently to really put patients in the driving seat of their care. I think families in the future can benefit enormously. Their care records will now be electronic. It's bringing nursing and midwifery into the 21st century. If a midwife needs to refer a woman to an antenatal clinic or to the admit to the ward, they have that information in a timely manner and they can share access to those records immediately. Healthcare records will only be accessible via a secure NHS portal. We need to engage patients much more as participants in their own treatment. We need to make access to primary care much easier than it is at the moment. We need to reshape our urgent and emergency care services. We need to ensure that we provide much better integrated services between primary and community care, hospital care and social care. And finally, we need to look at how we can best focus highly specialist care in very specialist hospitals in a way that still ensures that people get standard good care at hospitals close to home. I think the NHS should allow young people to give feedback on its services in an effective way and listen to what we say. You know, we use the service, so whilst, you know, we don't know everything, we should at least be part of the decisions that the NHS makes. We need to do some pretty radical things, so we need to move health out of buildings and into communities. We need to create integration so that when you go to your GP, you're not just a sore throat. You're actually a person with a sore throat who may have a mental health challenge and you need all those things dealt with at the same time, in the same place, having told your story once. The CCG um, currently are looking at um, accountable care systems and this is really about bringing about change and transforming the NHS to deliver more services in primary care and that's got to be paramount to how we take things forward so we must engage with patients um, to deliver the care that they require. Seven day services if I was a patient really dictate what the service I feel should look like so if I'm ill at two o'clock on a Sunday morning I would hope that I'm going to receive the same treatment as if I was ill at 10 o'clock on a Monday morning. It means that patients are getting access to senior decision makers at the front door, whether it's a Saturday morning or whether it's a Monday morning, and that has an impact on their outcome and in particular their mortality rates. Our challenge at NHS England is to think like a patient and act like a taxpayer in everything that we do. We know that as the nation gets older and there are more chronic health conditions, more people are going to need to be looked after at home and that's going to mean that we're going to need to change the way that we organise our GP services and so on. As new medical science produces new opportunities for wonderful new treatments, the NHS has got to be a world leader in harnessing those for the benefit of our patients. The voluntary sector is really about the whole person. And one thing we often see for those in, uh, in the NHS, they're, they're siloed between different services. Uh, understandably, they're specialisms, but actually what the voluntary and community sector does is it represents the whole person. And we also help people uh, magnify their voice. Those who are less, less heard, we help those people get heard. Health inequalities are something very close to our hearts. I'm doing a focus group on the NHS. We look at things to do with disability awareness. We look at learning disability. Really, unleashing the power of people is one of our biggest responses to the challenges that the NHS currently faces, and that's one of the central, one of the central um, priorities of the business plan. My mum was diagnosed with uh, dementia, which led to a crisis uh, of trying to keep crisis at bay, really, and then reaching a crisis and not really knowing what where or how to get the help that I felt my mum, well she certainly needed. I started a blog and a campaign from my bedroom to ask people to share their experiences with me, good or bad, and if they did, I would take them to the government and to health boards and ask them to read them. Because sometimes we don't know how to ask for help, eh, or who to ask, eh, 
and I think we have to be better at promoting what helps available to people. We need to wrap care around patients, recreate many of our hospitals as really highly specialised, world-class centres of excellence doing the specialised work. The Friends and Family Test is for us um, about engaging our women and we routinely encourage women to fill out those cards so that they can have a say on the care that we've given them on the postnatal ward. And the positive aspects have really kind of empowered midwives to think that they are doing a really good job. Receiving really excellent care is focused on maximising that individual's quality of life. And part of that is working as a team, both within the hospice and also with everybody else out there in the community that provides them with care. What should what does care look like? Well, I know what it feels like. It's when someone puts their arm on your shoulder and tells you that you're doing a good job. It's when someone helps you, give, props you up and allows you to care for the person that you're trying to care for if that's at home. It's taking time to listen at someone's bed to find out who they are, who they've been and who they can be. Uh, so I think what does good care look like? I certainly know what it feels like and I want to try and encourage people to keep doing that because it's really important and it really matters.